to cut it open but I, I've already cut it open and what you'll see uh, is this and it looks to me like a cantaloupe um, but anyway you're gonna take this center out okay I'll remove the center and then I'll come back and you get just get a spoon or a knife and just and just get it out it should be simple it's not hard to get it out but yeah, yeah, just, just remove the center, and then I'll show you what we're doing next. So, y'all, what I end up doing is um, kind of getting it out with my hand because it's so stringy. <laughs> it is really some spaghetti, uh, spaghetti squash. <laughs> it's so stringy. So... Yeah, I, start, I, start, I just started getting it out with my hand. And then I go back with the spoon and see if I can get the other soft part out. See, it's really stringy in there. So, yeah, I'll eventually get it cleaned out. Okay really stringy but I did use my hands to kind of clean it out as far as I did so yeah y'all what I've done is I've put like a tablespoon of olive oil off into the um the olive oil off into my um, squash here I put about a couple of tablespoons off into here, you know, making sure it's spread it evenly. Make sure you get up under with it. And what you're going to need is the olive oil, salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. And you just bring it to your seasoning the way you like it okay so yeah I've seasoned after seasoning my um my sp spaghetti squash with the olive oil and, and um I used garlic salt and I used onion powder oregano leaves and um black pepper after doing that I'm going to come over to my oven and I'm going to spray. i got a preheated oven of 375. I spray that and then you're gonna, what you're going to do is um, take your squash and turn it upside down. Upside down like so. Okay. Gonna turn it upside down. Okay, and then you're gonna close it open. So yeah, I'll come out for a month and I heat it hot with oil. With about two tablespoons of oil, I'm putting some um, I put my my coarsely chopped onions, my coarsely chopped bell peppers, and 
mushrooms off in sugar oil. Put my black pepper and salt. My black pepper and a little salt. In this case, we're gonna be using um, Little bark sauce. We're going to be using the garden meatless meatballs. It's just a simple meal, y'all. Be using the garlic and the garden meatless meatballs. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna let that get too down here. Enough to get the juices out of there. Just as you see, your onion can change a little bit. What we're going to do is take onion from frozen. We're going to take our um, meat bags and pour them in our pan. And then you're going to add the favorite spaghetti sauce. Yo, I. You're going to add the favorite sauce. my husband said did he get offended so yeah we're going to add a little bit of vegetable sauce to that thick sauce okay because it's so thick i just added it to the jar and kind of stirred it around a little bit because i had already used it so i just stirred it around a little bit add a little sauce and we add a little vegetable stock Y'all, y'all add y'all's favorite, um, add your favorite marinara or, 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 or pasta sauce. Add your favorite um, spaghetti sauce to this, just marinara sauce. You can get some tomato sauce and make it on. Um, put that in there. From here, I season it a bit. So I add a little. You know, I I don't like the um, flavor that the store bought has, so I season it up. You season it to your liking. I um, what I did was I added a little garlic, garlic powder. You know, a little salt, pepper, onion powder sugar, the brown sugar, and to get that tartness out, y'all, yeah. alright, and we're going to let that simmer, 
for about 25, 30 minutes. Okay. And the flavor cooks in. All right. And that's how you make spaghetti squash and, and meatball sauce. Put sauce. And be chunky, thick sauce. I like my sauce kind of thick. All right. Mm. Cover and let it just simmer. <coughs> there it is. 